With six tonight, echoes of Enron, millionaire big shots busted for allegedly cooking the books, but they weren't corporate titans. They ran what many consider the premier law firm in the city. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. Cuffed and in custody, former leaders of a powerhouse law firm now defunct. It was called Dewey LaBeouf, known in the legal world as just Dewey. Named for a founder, former crime-busting DA and New York Governor Thomas Dewey, given the charges he might be spinning in his grave. The defendants simply lied. Uh, they lied and masked the firm's financial shortfallings. The scheme deceived lenders, investors, and others into believing the firm was in far better financial condition than it actually was. DA Simons Jr. used charts to outline the complicated alleged scheme that started as the 2008 financial crisis took a toll on the legal business. The defendants include Dewey's former chairman, Stephen Davis, and executive director, Stephen DeCarmine, both accused of misdeeds in a desperate attempt to cover up the firm's cash crunch. One of many examples, a million-dollar loan from a partner booked as a big payment from a client. According to the indictment, employee emails show relief as the scheme unfolded. Quote, can we find another clueless auditor for next year? The answer, that's the plan, worked perfect this year. Dewey's collapse in 2012 took a real toll. It owes big money to local firms for services such as catering, cleaning, and office supplies. And thousands of Dewey's employees lost their jobs. Many of Dewey and LaBeouf's employees had devoted their professional lives to the firm and are now still struggling to find work in this tough economy. One of the defense lawyers says the district attorney is looking for bad guys to blame for the collapse of this firm when the bad economy and bad business decisions are to blame. At the courthouse in Lower Manhattan, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. The district attorney also revealed seven people who worked in the law firm's accounting department have pleaded guilty to various charges, but their cases have been sealed. That indicates those seven may testify against the firm leaders who were charged today.